So Apple's biggest competitor is Samsung. So no doubt Apple is looking at the Galaxy S4 uh, when it comes to this big launch. And how do they compare? Let's take a look. So we've got very different design philosophies here. We've got metal on the back on the iPhone and plastic on the back on the Galaxy S4. And the Galaxy S4 is thinner than it's ever been, but not enough to beat the iPhone. If we put them down on the table, the iPhone is like half a millimeter thick thinner. Uh, it's, it's very imperceptible. Looking on the, on the back here, they look so different, don't they? We've got a 13 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S4, and we've got an 8 megapixel camera on the iPhone 5. We've got much smaller screens, 4 inches versus a full 5 inches. And what's interesting is Samsung was able to keep a similar size to the Galaxy S3. In fact, they made it a little bit smaller in terms of width and height, but they made the screen bigger. Uh, so just a really interesting look here. We're going to uh, turn on both devices. We're at maximum screen brightness on both. We've got AMOLED screen technology here on the Galaxy S4 and of course LCD technology. So LCD gives you that crazy bright white, right? So we're going to go into the browser and try to get some whites on the screen. And as you can see, the whites, I don't know what page this is, uh, the white is much whiter on the iPhone 5 uh, compared to the Galaxy S4. Uh, just because that's the way that the, you know, <laughs> this is the way. the way the pixel crumbles. That's the way the pixel crumbles. So, but if we take a look, if we put on the notification shade and we try to compare the black here of the black on the iPhone, you know, the iPhone comes pretty close. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more washed out on the iPhone because it's not AMOLED. So two very, very different devices. Apple's still going with the high quality thing with the metal and the glass and the chamfered edges. And Samsung's not shying away from beauty either. This nice polished edge around the, uh, around the perimeter of the screen looks a lot like what came on the Galaxy S3, but this time it's more pronounced. It, it catches the light. If, if I move it in the light, you can really see how this kind of looks a little bit like, uh, I'm not gonna say jewelry, cause you know, but it looks very attractive. Kind of like if you tilt the iPhone 5 in the light, if you can ignore all of the bangs and the dents and the dings. We've got a lot more coming up on the Galaxy S4. Stay tuned to Pocket Now.